Hello everyone, my name is Miley Sapp and I am a member of the BU Sport and Performance Psychology team. Hope you are having a wonderful summer so far. Today I'm going to be speaking with you a little bit about pre-performance anxiety that some of you might be experiencing even right now as your competition season is coming closer as you're transitioning back into competitive mode and introduce you to a skill that we will practice together called the five, four, three, two, one technique that'll be intended to use some of these sensations that you might be experiencing to channel them into a really productive way so that your competition can be taken to the next level. So let's back up a little bit and just talk a little bit about pre-performance anxiety. And this is something that many, many athletes experience before a competition, and it can look and feel very different for everyone. So for some of you, this could be some of that thought spinning, mind racing, things related to your thoughts, where others, it can come up in more bodily sensation. So maybe it's all those butterflies flying in your stomach or more of that knotted sensation in your stomach, even nausea and throwing up. Maybe your body's becoming really tense and rigid or you're experiencing those shakes and jitters before a competition. This is a really normal response because it's our body's automatic physiological response to an event or in a situ situation such as a competition in which we have to make an interpretation. Is this event, is it gonna be a challenge and a benefit to us? And we can really use that to our advantage because it's gonna heighten our awareness. It's gonna increase our energy and our motivation. Or is it being interpreted as more of a threat which can be debilitative to your performance because it can become really distracting. It might cause you to choke under pressure. And so the question is, how can we take this response and this experience that you're having and use it in a way to really benefit you? And we know that anxiety is largely fueled by thinking about the future worry about what the outcome is going to be. So one way to channel your pre-performance anxiety in a productive way is to really draw back to the present. And that's where this technique called the five, four, three, two, one technique comes into play. Because this technique involves incorporating all of your senses and using those senses as a gateway to really notice the sensations that you are having in the present moment. So we're going to practice this together and it's something that you can continue to do on your own. One of the things I absolutely love about this technique is that you can do it at any time and at any place. So you can do it leading up to a competition, right before a competition, at the competition venue, and even during a competition, if you notice your thoughts are starting to wander. Because again, it brings you back to the present moment. So to do this technique, I want you to first just take a notice of your surroundings. And we're gonna start by engaging our looking and eye senses. So what are five things that you are able to see in your environment? And I really want you to focus on some of the small details that you might not otherwise notice. And be very curious, what are you seeing? If you're inside, for example, is it a speck of dust on a bookshelf? Is it the way the sun is coming in and dancing across the wall. So take note in these next few moments 
of five things that you're able to see and focus your attention on one of those. Next, I want you to think about four things that you can hear. So we're gonna be listening. And again, what are some more of those faint sounds that are happening nearby that you may have tuned out? So is it a conversation happening in the distant? Are there birds chirping nearby? And just focus your attention on each of those sounds. Next, we're gonna go to three things that you can touch. We're really gonna be focusing on the feeling sensation. So is it the way that your clothes feel against your skin? What are you noticing about that? Is it the touch of your fingertips? So focusing on those different feels. And next I want you to use your smelling sensation. So use your nose. What are two things that you're able to smell? So if you're outside, is it that fresh grass smell? Is it the rubbery smell of the turf or a track? Is there food nearby? Are you getting wafts of different food? What are those smells? And really put your attention on those smells and notice how your body's responding. And lastly, I want you to focus on one thing that you can taste. So what are you tasting in this moment? Did you just have a snack and there are some remnants? Is this before a competition or before a practice and maybe you had an energy gel or a sports drink and there's that lingering sweetness that you are able to taste right now? Focusing on that sensation of taste. And so once you have run through each of these senses, just do a body check-in. Notice how are you feeling right now compared to how you felt at the beginning. And what this technique is intended to do is to really shift your focus outward to those external focus points and that takes away that internal focus that anxiety can latch us onto. And like I said before, this is a great technique to do any place, anywhere. I highly encourage you to give it a try, see how it feels. You can go through all five senses. You can focus on a few, you can mix it up, whatever way works best for you when you might be finding that some of those pre-performance anxiety symptoms are really revving up. Because this technique is meant to slow you down, bring you back to that present, offer a reset so that all of that energy that was surging from that pre-anxiety response, can you can hold on to it and release it during competition to your advantage versus expending it all before and being tapped out during competition. If you are interested in exploring additional mental skills and tools on an individual basis or your team in the form of team workshops, the BU Sport and Performance Psychology team offers free services to student athletes September through May. And together we can really find what works best for you and take your performance to the to your optimal level and you can go to goterriers.com for more information and we are so excited to see you when everyone returns in the fall and to cheer you on have a great rest of your summer